So using the log card, you take your log card, insert it into the machine, and then it will read what's there. At this point in time, if it's a brand new machine, it will ask you if you'd like to format the card. You would press yes, wait for it to format the card, and then you can add a user. So add a user, and then what you use is the cursor buttons here to go up or down. And then that moves over, just like what we talked about for the workouts. So you also can go caps at any time, as well as numbers. And when you're done with it, just click OK and you're good to go. So you can go back to the main menu, which we already talked about, or you can go to the log card menu. And here you can have a summary of what's on your log card and there's nothing on my log card. So, what you would normally have is your all-time meters, the amount of time that you rode, the number of workouts that you rode, the average of the 500, the meters per workout, the time per workout, and interval rest meters. You can look at it by monthly totals, You can list it by the dates. They would come up and the date would be there. You can list it by the type. So single distance, single time, interval distance, interval time, and intervals variable. Those match what's there for the workout when you set them up. Log card utilities. So you can maintain users. You can add, delete, edit your users. You can delete a workout. So if there's a workout on there you would like to delete it, you go, again, you cursor up or down and then press the button to delete. If you'd like to move a workout, so what we'll do is we'll move one of these workouts. So you can see, just I'll pick that one there. So I'm going to move it to my log card. Now it should be on my log card. So I'll go in here and we'll look at a monthly total. And there it is. So now, what I'd like to do is delete a workout, we'll pick it and delete it, and now it's gone. Then you can edit your custom list, so you can take the list that's already there, you can copy all of them over, or you can copy one of them over, so now it's onto your log card. When you're done with that, you can simply remove the log card and you're ready to go.